I work with a very, 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 uh, well, a basic palette in my mind. I've been using the same palettes in school. It's, a, it's basically ba uh, a dual primary palette. I work with a, a cool and a warm red all the way. All my colors are like that. The reason I do that is because with the dual primary, I can get the widest range of colors in terms of, uh, okay, here, for instance, if I want to make a purple, for instance, I will use a cool red and a cool or a transparent blue. So I will use alizarin crimson with a little bit of white and will also use the uh, ultramarine blue for that. Make a fairly vibrant purple. Now, I will also use the cad red, which is an opaque red, warm red, and a cobalt blue, which is opaque, but it makes sort of like a, a softer version of a purple and, uh, and adding white and you get into the lavender areas. And, and that's how I work with color. I always use the, the dual primary palette. And then I have on there, I'll have a yellow ochre and I keep that with the yellows because it's how I, I don't think of that as an earth color so much as just another yellow. So I keep it with yellow. And uh, I have an orange that I, I do put on there because uh, I could make it, but I use so much of it to neutralize greens and blues that I just have it on, on my palette. And I just go, it's, I only have like 12 colors on my palette. And it's uh, very rarely do I come out with another color unless something spectacular needs to be done. But then if it's, if it's something out of the ordinary, it's because I didn't design it correctly. I usually, uh, you know, it's true. I, I, if you want something that's not a bright red to look, to look more vibrant, you gotta use a, a complementary color or neutralize the color next to it. And your reds will always sing or whatever. And that's the way that palette's always worked for me. It's been very well. Very simple palette. Uh, that way you get to learn your colors and you learn how to make all the colors you need in your paintings. As opposed to just tubes, tube after tube. Yeah, my palette was the same from school, except that recently I, I added quinacridone red. Right. I discovered when I was doing certain flowers that ultramarine or uh, lizard and crimson permanent. Won't get to it. It's, a, it's dirtier because it has right. that little Without a doubt. So right. the quinacridone allows me to get these vibrant right. reds or uh, yeah. crimsons for some flowers. Right, right. Yeah, right. and that's a, that's a special need that you have for that. But mm -hmm. if you're just doing a basic landscape painting, <laughs> look, at the, look at the artists long before the Impressionists. They work with mud. <laughs> and my God, it's like you look at, you look at Velasquez's painting, he had like four or five colors. And yet look what he did with it. I mean, and you look what Rubens did. It's just amazing stuff when you think about it. It's not the color on your palette. It's how it works on your canvas and how, it, how the illusion is created there. That's, that's learning your colors, learning how to make you know, all those colors powerful. Something I, I learned later in life, like if you want to like, uh, you want to cool off a red. Now, when I was at school, how would you cool off a color? Right away, oh, well, I'll add blue. Well, you know what? It's not blue because blue changes the, the hue of the color. But you think of it, start, you don't need to think of it in terms of cooling it. I now started, started thinking in terms of less warm. If you think less warm, you can still be in the warm family, but it's less so as opposed to going to that the opposite of just cooling something, just to cool something off doesn't mean you have to go cold. You just have to be less intense. And sometimes taking a neutral, like transparent oxide red, if you take that and elevate that up to the same value as a red and mix that in, you can cool off a red without changing that red to a, to a blue. And it stays as a red, but it's a cool red, a more neutral red, and it works fine. And that's how I do that now. Excellent. Uh, and just so everybody knows that's watching this, uh, Peter does talk a decent amount of, about his palette in his video, the Winter right. Tingle video. Uh, and again, that is coming out next week, right? That's when we're launching it. So definitely encourage you if you want to know more about There's it. There's a lot in there. To go watch that video.